Oh, this is going to be pretty close. Okay, so they are deep. Oh, no! Oh, that's another card I need to deny. That's 388. Oh, man. Yes! We drew the deny? Wow, we're getting lucky. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Z going to be our next deck. This is another viewer submitted deck. Of course, that's what the two D's by the deck name means. These are viewer submitted donation decks for Sivir Z. It's a very interesting Sivir Z list also because we're going to have some cool things at the top end. We're going to be playing uh, three copies of Fey Guide that will be able to give either one of our champions elusive, like giving Zed elusive once Zed levels up means that the other um, living shadow they put in would also have elusive. Or giving Sivir elusive once Sivir levels up, that means all of your attacking allies will have elusive. Pretty cool. So yeah, so Fey Guide looks pretty cool with both of those. And then we also got two copies of Dawn and Dust to get two more copies of our allies could be our champions but honestly dawn and dusk plus ruin runner also pretty good so you know zed sivir ruin runner any of those with dawn and dusk pretty amazing um so we're gonna try all that out we got a good amount of spells in here besides that we got nopify ruthless predator twin disciplines deny spirits refuge so good amount of spells so it's going to be really relying on our champions and ruin runner getting the job done and doing lots of damage so Pretty interesting list. Let's give it a try. Let's try out Sivir Zed. Both champions love to attack. Let's see how they do together. Oh yeah, that's right. No champion spotlight next week because of the new champions. Yes. So we have a Yasuo fan <laughs> from their icon playing deep. Going Yasuo deep. Oh man. I kind of want to just keep all this TBH. I could see Mula getting the Ruin Runner, but I mean, this is kind of a great curve. Zed into Sivir into Ruin Runner. Kind of a great curve. With Treasure Seeker round one. Twin Disciplines to save the two spell mana for Twin Disciplines to protect. It's always so crazy watching that thing blow up planets. I'm sorry to hear the Hayden. You had a tree fall down, knock out your power. That, that's very unfortunate. Alright, so I had the one drop that was able to block and also toss four, which is pretty good. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. Vessel small, but she lacking courage. Go and harvest it. Who are we challenging? No. Pretty awesome sea scarabs here, though. So do I just want to attack? Yeah, I, I gotta just attack immediately. I can't let them just play like other like small blockers that like then get to have them toss millions of cards. Yeah, I gotta just attack. So that would be. I do 19 damage. I'm not. I'm not doing 19 damage. Ooh, 
love the Level Up Zed animation. We're just blowing up worlds all over the place. Got blow up worlds. They like their Luxie though. If I block with both, it levels up Sever. That's like why I'm considering blocking with both. To level up Sever, and I guess I will. I do really want to level up Sever. Don't have a way to give overwhelm though. No, this get this is honestly gonna be a pretty tough game to win. Like these um these spirits refuges are really not doing very much. this other four points of damage and we're like one point away from like that twin disciplines but it's really nice of like to be able to give the sivir elusive would have had that uh four drop to give elusive that would have been really nice yeah i could i could certainly see us losing this game oh really could have used you last round I don't think we're winning this. We're going to be pretty lucky to be able to win this. Yep, we need that Fey Guide. We had no Dawn Dust, no Fey Guide, and they had three. They have three of each of their very important. Like, they have two sea monsters that are super important, and they had three copies of each of them. Looks like we're playing against Deep again. I think this is going to go better for us. I don't think they're going to have three copies of the two, three uh, sea monster and three copies of Devour Depths of both. But Spirit's Refuge looks pretty bad. At least. The thing is, like, Spirit's Refuge is going to be very good in, like, the aggro matchup, but in this matchup, it's looked pretty bad. We just need. We need more bodies. Too many spells. 
I don't I don't need Ruthless Predator or Spirit's Refuge. Hmm. How do we give Overwhelm? Is question number one and how do we draw Zed is question number two. Alright, so this is probably where we're going to want the Ruthless Predator, just to take out this Jaw Hunter so it doesn't kill my Sivir. it's bad against deep we shouldn't be bad against deep though like a, a silver z deck should be like, this should be very good against deep that's real unfortunate i didn't have the nova file so Oh, you just meant Spirit's Refuge, not our deck. Okay, I gotcha. We do seem to have a lot of spells, and not very important spells. So normally we would want to play Ruin Runner first, but that allows them to toss two. If I play Ruin Runner, I do not want to allow them to toss two. So I guess we're just doing this. Because again, killing Maokai in this deck is really important. I'm not sure what it is right now, but I feel like there's something a little off with our deck. But I don't have any suggestions right now. I'm not sure what it is. We've only played one matchup so far. You know, just deep. Haven't seen it in other matchups. Pretty excited about this of like Sivir plus Rune Runner plus Rune Runner. Like that's very scary. Would you look at this place? Twelve. Chase what you want without mercy. I wanted to just open attack. but decided against it to do this. And not so sure about that right now. Okay, so that's 18, 24, 30. Just gonna have our three Ruin Runners do the damage first. Definitely feel much better about this. After we get to deny that.
Oh, this is going to be pretty close. Okay, so they are deep. Oh, no! Oh, that's another card I need to deny. That's 388. Oh, man. Yes! We drew the deny? Wow, we're getting lucky. What a draw. Alright, there we go. GG's. Okay, one and one. What a perfect deny draw. Had it the whole time. Perfect deny draw. Referring to Ruin Runner, Quirk's like having three copies of the same champion on board looks pretty strong. That's true, we do get to play three different champions. We do get to play Zed, as well as Sivir, as well as Ruin Runner. Nobify is basically just for Ice Shard. I'll go ahead and send that back. And Ruin Runner, a little expensive from our opener. We'll go ahead and put that back as well. Can we get a Zed? Zed dies to Avalanche, I guess. Is Merciless Hunter a, a champion? I mean, it's kind of a better champion than, like, Callista. And no, I don't know why I didn't play the Treasure Seeker on round one. I guess we'll play it now. I kind of clicked okay as I was talking. It's honestly fine. Okay. I was going to say, I, like, I, I kind of like trading there anyway, instead of just, like, open attacking and dealing too. Because then they don't have the blocker for the Zed. They don't have Avalanche. But they... They passed that first. They didn't want to play the Lissandra at first. Okay, well they do have Avalanche. Very best card to have. We'll Alright, so this frozen thrall is already Honor is the rest on a almost dog. pumped. They always, man, they, they really like passing first. Wrap them up tight. So I didn't really want to like play a unit first and like let them focus speed. Like there's like the different focus speed cards that like count down the thralls and they. Like, focus B, count down a thrall, plus play a blocker. Gets messy. Just, just, but I just don't think I'm, like, killing them from 14 this round anyway. And so wanted to... And 
that's that's pretty bad because that gets rid of that spell shield. And we want to just get some damage in right now. gonna be pretty easy like you know now dawn and it's gonna be tough to dawn and dust the sivir with the spell shield gone because they can just use a frostbite spell to get rid of it they did have the focus speed spell could have made that 8 8 if i would have played something First. Yeah, without without the spell shield, I'm pretty scared of the dawn and dusk working through just a, fr a flash freeze. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Now we did draw the ruin runner, so dawn and dusk ruin runner can be a thing. Okay, cool. I was going to say we need another open slot, but now we have that other open slot. Is it better just simply to play another Ruin Runner and then play Merciless Hunter? have uh you know six two ephemeral challenge the eight six Not and ready. that would get me to uh, 21 so 21 i guess means that we're doing these two to level up and then three two has it okay cool we shall take it. GG's. The real treasure is friendship. I yeah. guess maybe even like the better attack was just having like my O2 challenge that thing instead of trying to kill it to just try to kill their nexus to have two six one overwhelms. There we go. We had three champions in play again. Three rune runners in play. You get three champions in play. Hard to lose. So we've learned so far with these two games. This is not going to be easy. Okay. We at least got some more blockers out for this aggro deck. We got, you know, two drop, three drop before the Sivir. Man, no spells anywhere. Would you look at this place? Taking care of the thing that hits the hardest, the most damage. Do not fear the shrouded path. War Mason, reporting for duty. The few for the many. Get him, Zed. Have a great day at work, Nasher. Take care. Yeah, Nobify, very good here with all the uh, Noxian Fervors they have. That's a good call. And then, of course, we do have those different Spirits Refuge that... There we go. I was going to say, we, we have been drawing lots of Spirits Refuge, but they haven't been so great for us in the other matchups. But this could definitely be the Spirits Refuge matchup. They don't break. Gotta get some more level up for Sivir. 
Run while you can. Hmm. So if I Spirits Refuge the Zed, I guess I Spirits Refuge the Living Shadow? No, because the Living Shadow doesn't grow, does it? This pain no, it does not. down to two. If I use the refuge, we gain three and go to five, which is definitely different from two. I can also use the twin disciplines. Um. Alright, never mind. I ran out of time. I just don't know if I love doing that move. Couldn't really decide. I guess I ran out of time. So if I would have gone for all the life steal, I think they would have just, you know, played the other refuge and killed me. So I just, I don't think it really mattered. My feet just went up. Again, don't really like our chances. I just feel like we don't really play defense well enough, and we don't have the, as much damage to kill them. I don't know. So this card's definitely gone. I guess I'm supposed to keep Spirit's Refuge, and you know, Sivir is one of our champions, and Twin Disciplines is really good, but I don't know. There's something off here. I've been. I think this Ruthless Predator has to be another unit. Rockhopper is a very good draw. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Cordy says, where were all the pirates when we were playing Fiora? They did not show up. Yeah, we have. I think we have too many spells in this deck, though. Only 12 units in the entire deck that cost less than 4 mana. I think that's just not enough. We just have these kind of games, so. Yeah, Ruthless Predator, I think, has to be... Has to be another unit. We gotta, we gotta get some more units in. Because, like, you know, like, we need to do, do damage, right? Like, we need to do damage to level up Sivir. Go with the flow. 
Unfortunately... I can't play anything. Unfortunately, that just means they have another Noxian Fervor. Not enough units in here to handle aggro. I think aggro is going to be a really rough matchup for this. I think Dawn and Dusk is okay. Like, Dawn and Dusk, you can do some really powerful stuff with Dawn and Dusk. I don't think it's just like, I don't think it's cut Dawn and Dusk. I think it's cut Ruthless Predator. I think between Nopify, Ruthless Predator, the Quicksand, the Deny. I think all that is just too much, and even like the Preservarium's there too. Like all that is just like too too many cards that don't really affect the board. Because uh, the, the thing about okay, so the thing about Sivir and Zed are very good together. Um, as I've talked about, how they love attacking. Both of them really reward you for attacking, and they're great at attacking. Uh, Ruin Runner great at attacking. Also, the thing is, is nothing in here blocks, right? Like Zed hates blocking. Sivir hates blocking. Right? Like your cards can't block. Even Ruin Runner hates blocking. Um, you know, like what are we blocking with Treasure Seeker and Rock Hopper, I guess. But like, right, like we can't block. So against a deck like Pirate Burn that's faster than us, none of our cards can block. And therefore we're, we're playing it a slower deck where we can't block and they have a bunch of Nexus damage and it's just not even possible to win, right? So like that's, that's the thing is like, you have to get more units in here that can block and that you can actually, you know, like have you can have combat in both senses like yeah there's spirits refuge for the life steal but as we see like it's just way too slow because like by the time we like because we we have nothing to block like the first few rounds and then like by the time we play a champion we can't block the same time and then by the time we play spirits refuge it's just we're, we're already dead and so like it's just it's too slow for that so we need things that can block and if you're not going to be faster than them, you, you just need more units. And I think, like, Chronomancer is probably, like, the best two drop. I was trying to think of, like, what two drops to be playing. And I kind of feel like it's Chronomancer. But I think there needs to be more ones and twos in here. I like Treasure Seeker a lot. I like Rock Hopper a lot. But only having one one drop, one two drop, not enough for a deck that's supposed to be an aggressive deck. Um, especially against other aggro decks. Um, so I would, I would kind of just take out Ruthless Predator altogether. And yes, Dawn and Dusk could be a one of, because I like Shapestone. Like Shapestone works perfectly kind of in this kind of deck too. I, I feel like Shape, like Shapestone, as far as combat tricks go, is pretty good. I think I would take out Ruthless Predator and Nopify and play like one Dawn and Dusk because you never need a second Dawn and Dusk. At least if you do need a second Dawn and Dusk, something went wrong. And that could give you some more slots for some more attackers slash blockers. Like you could play some Green Glade duos because those are amazing at attacking. And then a one drop, whether you want Dune Keeper or... Bakai Reaper or Bloodthirsty Marauder or Inspiring Mentor, any of those are good. I have always had a, a soft spot for Inspiring Mentor myself, um, especially with with uh, the nerf to Doomkeeper. Inspiring Marshall giving that Z, like making that Zed a four two, making the Sivir a, a six three. So I think if you just have like that extra like that one extra one drop for a blocker, that one extra two drop for a blocker, but also attacker, right? Like these things are good at attacking, good at blocking. Uh, especially like the duo is great at attacking. I think we just didn't have enough bodies. I think that this needs to be more of like this kind of ratio, um, you know, like the the twenty seven thirteen ratio, instead of the instead of like the 
I guess we had 21 units before. I think we just need some more units. Fey Guide also, I could definitely, you know, like we never really use Fey Guide, but I, I could see it not being a three of. I, I like the premise of the, the Fey Guide, but I also don't think it necessarily needs to be a three of. It seems like a lot of those. Could be like a one or a two of kind of thing. And you can get some things that can maybe affect combat a little bit better whether it's bakai sand spinner whether it's profiteer whether it's a little bit more card advantage with shadow assassin or river shaper um or just like green glade elder that gets you that that size but you know like any of those kind of things a fey folk um i could see doing a little bit different stuff with that fey guide but i don't have a great suggestion for those but i definitely think that two one drops two two drops we're an aggressive deck we need to be attacking we want to be ahead um, we also want to do damage to level up our Sivir, but you want to be ahead whenever you're playing your Zed and Sivir, right? Because like, you, you can't, like, be, like, real far behind and then try to play Zed and, and have Zed block, right? Like, that doesn't work. Same thing with the Sivir. Like, that just doesn't work. So let's get an extra copy of the 1s, extra copy of the 2s. I think that's the first place to start. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Sivir Zed. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube... Uh, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of these changes or just other ideas for Sivir Z in general. Um, let me know because I think Sivir and Zed are a really, really strong champion combination, but I haven't played like the best Sivir Z decks, I don't think, yet. But you've seen like whenever we played like Fiora Zed, like, a, like Zed was incredible and just took over all the games with having Sharp Sight and stuff like that. Uh, you don't have as many combat tricks in Shurima, but you do have... Uh, you know, you still have your twin disciplines, and if you want to build around it, you still have like Shapestone, which can be awesome with the Zed um, and stuff like that. But anyway, that's going to be it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.